Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 60th episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors. To start off, I wanted to talk about the Siri port for older iDevices. So Chapone did confirm that the port is possible and that it does work. However, he said that they will not release it for some time to come, if at all. And basically it boils down to legality and infringement of the basic copyright law. And he also said that they haven't tried it on the iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch third generation, or the iPad. And he also suggested that Jacko Plane was a fake and that he's not actually working on a Siri port. But again, keep in mind, that's just what Chapone said. We'll just have to wait and see what happens in the future. Also, Apple released iOS 5.0.1 beta for developers and 5.0.1 fixes a couple different things. The first major thing that it fixes are bugs related to the battery life. So apparently there were a couple of bugs in iOS 5 that were affecting the battery life dramatically. And in iOS 5.0.1, they claim to have fixed those bugs, so it shouldn't be an issue for anybody any longer once iOS 5.0.1 is made available to the public. Right now, it's just a beta, so it should be available soon. It also improves voice recognition for Australian users. It also fixes an iCloud bug, and it brings multitasking gestures to the original iPad. So it's a pretty good upgrade. I also made a video on how to jailbreak it. However, if you're not a developer, you can't really get access to 5.0.1 unless you have your UDID registered. So if you guys want to see my jailbreak video for iOS 5.0.1, you can check it out. I'll have a link to it down below in the more info. Also, I wrote a tutorial on how to actually share documents between Macs with iCloud. So there's a hidden feature in iCloud where you enable document sharing on your Mac. You go to a specific folder on your Mac, and then inside of that folder, you can add another folder and you can add things to that and basically it will appear on your other devices as long as you're not maxed out on iCloud it will store those and it will share those between your different Macs and finally I did a overview for 3.1 honeycomb on the Sony internet TV and it's definitely a really great upgrade and if you guys want to see it or maybe you don't know what the Sony internet TV is or you want to learn more about it in the Google TV platform then you guys can check it out I did a video on it and I'll have a link to that down below in the more info as well as everything else I talked about in today's video. Also, remember that you can gain additional entries to my All Things Apple giveaway in this video simply by rating it up, favoriting it, and leaving a comment down below in the comment section with the phrase All Things Apple giveaway. And if you don't know what the All Things Apple giveaway is, I will have a link to a video describing it down below. Also, just be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release a new video. And if you guys want to be updated more often, just be sure to follow my Twitter accounts and like my Facebook fan page. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors on Friday. And until then, this is ICU, signing out.